Well, good morning, everybody. For Tuesday, the 7th of June. Well, Flaming Duke continues and uh, occluded fronts not too far away, still trying to ruin uh, soaring windows that we have. Um, a bit more north of the country won't be particularly bad today for soaring, but we're sat under this occluded front at the moment. And as you look out into the Atlantic, uh, it's going to be a tricky picture uh, for some days at the moment. You can see uh, we're going to pick up a westerly flow even stronger tomorrow. Maybe the chance of a better soaring day on Thursday. But these low pressure systems never too far away uh, to cause us a little bit of a headache. Uh, today, the winds are um, sort of from the south to southwesterly, and we're looking in the region of about 10 to 15 knots at flying heights, sort of 5 to 10 on the ground. Picture over the UK, where you can see Lasham is just sat on the top end of this cloud. If we look out to the north, we could probably just about see it uh, where, the, where that ends. Um, but further north, a bit brighter, which is a case of. Uh, actually being able to get there. And unfortunately, I think that line is only going to move slightly further north during the day. It will be flyable, uh, but it will disrupt the soaring conditions annoyingly. There are some showers linked to this occluded front as well, and they're moving sort of down the coast at the moment. It's not going to be a showery probably as yesterday, uh, but uh, yeah, you might see the odd spot of drizzle. Uh, public forecast suggests uh, a sort of a mixed day. This shows the potential of some easterly winds, which we'll keep an eye on. Uh, but it uh, it does seem like it will uh, dry up and get a little bit brighter later in the day, sort of as it did yesterday. Slightly better yesterday, but with still with the risk of some showers. Okay, at Southampton, they have broken it 600 feet and getting up to 1500 feet during the day. They're closer to the occluded front. So probably better to take farmers view on it that, um, yeah, the cloud base will be low at times near showers, but uh, should get up a bit higher than that. Top temperature today of around 20 degrees, if we're lucky. And dew points still fairly high, hanging around 13. Currently at Lasham, uh, we have a temperature of 16 and dew point of 12. You can see uh, it is getting a little bit cooler at the moment, which is not the direction we want. But uh, yeah, hopeful that uh, we're as far north as possible on this uh, front that's going through. It doesn't look too good for potential flight distance today, uh, but I would say it is purely based on uh, how far north that uh, line of uh, weather is. If it drops south at all below us, then we might get some reasonable conditions, but uh, it's not forecast too brilliantly at the moment. As you can see here, we're just sort of straddling the line of that uh, sort of uh, drizzle and low cloud. And it says here for the whole day, we'll just have a quick look at sky sites just to see if there's any difference in uh, the model. It's fairly similar. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, weak thermals in places, but uh, it's going to be purely down to that cloud cover. Airspace wise, not too much to worry about. Usual danger air crossing surfaces unavailable in the Salisbury Plain. Uh, 20s paragliding, which I don't, unless they're hill soaring, I don't think they're going to get too far today. And uh, activity down towards the southwest. Uh, yeah, there's parachuting at the Dorset Gliding Club going on at the moment, so uh, not be a factor today, but it's worth keeping an eye on. 28 is, yep, yeah, that's not even relevant. So pretty much there is not really any significant airspace issues to affect at the moment. Operation the expect will be on 2.7 uh, if the upper wind is going to be as it is. So uh, we have a jet movement first at 10 o'clock, so nothing will happen before the jet movement. Once that's out of the way, then uh, we'll decide how we'll set up. Okay, start getting the kit DI'd and I'll see you on the airfield shortly. Bye for now.